who will be coaching Harry Maguire next season. Rangnick will be out the door in the summer. A lot of speculation there could be uh, Ten Hag coming in. Uh, this is what Louis van Gaal had to say about that possibility. He said he should choose a football club, not a commercial club. Oh, uh, Mario, you know uh, Louis van Gaal well. Before we get <laughs> on to the relationship you have with him, uh, let's talk about... Uh, this, uh, th this quote from him suggesting that maybe United isn't the best option for Ten Hag. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, you're asking about, like, he, he was my, my, I will say, like, what he said, you know, my primary coach, my teacher. Uh, I don't agree to this. Why I don't agree to this? This is the modern day of football. You know, we're moving into a market where it, it, every club and every brand needs to be part of advertising because if not, you don't highlight it, no one is coming. Well, United was always a big club, you know, we're not going to shy away from it. When I came as a kid, you know, coming to England, how could I not even look at Man United and whatever they were? For God knew that too. He might didn't like how the situation ended up uh, at the end, but you think Ten Hag is going to think about that? No. When you have a dream as a, as a coach or as, an, as a player, you're looking at your own dream. You don't look what somebody else thinks about it. And... I say it again, you understand, like Van Gaal, yes, he's my coach, he's my guy, he's, he's, he gave me the, the debuts for Holland and, and, and Ajax, but away from that, I don't agree to this code because you should go wherever you think is right for yourself and not what happened to a coach before. I, those, those, go, go on, no, I, I, I think we've got to understand what he's saying. I think what Van Gaal's saying is not... He's talking about the people that are running the club that are more interested in the commercial side. Mm. I, don't, I, I, mm -hmm. I think that's what he's talking about. You know, you can look at other sides, like Man, Man City and Liverpool, who, uh -huh. who the people in charge are football people. And the most important thing to them is what happens on the field. And they both understand that if things are happening on the field, then the commercial side of it will take care of itself anyway. Whereas United, it, it seems like it's all about the commercial side and then if things are not going well, we'll just appease everybody and we'll get rid of the manager or we'll just sign an old player. Let's, right. let's sign a big name or we'll just spend a lot of money and it'll look good. I think that's what Van Hal's talking about. He's talking about him joining a place where the football is the most important thing, which Manchester United is not. Uh, Mary, according to the bookies, Ten Hag is favourite to take over at Old Trafford. Those that have reservations about him say, yeah, it's OK, go and do that in the Eredivisie. But can he do it in the Premier League? He doesn't have experience there. Look, he's a very technical coach. You know, he thinks about the game, he understands the game. I met him personally, so I had a chat with him. Uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Two years, I think, I was uh, invited to come to Miami and meet uh, Ajax there. He talks about the game, he thinks about the game. Uh, very understandable. Of course, you're going to make the next step into a bigger club. And Man United has been looking for years now for a perfect fit. And now they're going to Ten Hag. You know, he, he's young in the game. But, you know, sometimes you got to take the chance because what are you going to do? You're going to wait. And I'm not saying like Ten Hag is the only option that they have. But what are they going to do? They're going to wait now and then they say we should have. Now, if you think he's right, then you should go for it. Because, but I do agree with you, like, the area de Vici is not the same level or league as the Premier League. I always say that because every time when people go to, to England, then in Holland they go like, ooh, that's kind of tough. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.